Nom, 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 nom. What's up, guys? Evil Deer here. So we're back so for some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons. Sorry, I just love watermelon. Mel watermelon. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me just swallow that one. Okay, let's start with some revision, shall we? Now, how do you say I'm walking away from the village? Mi iras de la villaggio. And how would you say I'm walking towards the mountain? Mi iras al la monto. Now, just so you guys know, we're getting out of this valley. I had a little wander over there and then I kind of wandered around a bit. But we are leaving it. We are going to better places. We are moving forward because seriously, I'm over this valley. But also, what I'm going to teach you during this lesson is future tense. Now, I taught you past tense, which is at the end of a verb, you put is. Present tense, at the end of the verb, you put us. Now, future tense, at the end of the verb, you put os. So, how will you say, I will walk towards the mountain? Just give it a go. Oh, is this guy a special dude? He is. I'm going to kill him. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill him and leave all his chicks homeless. I am so evil. Oh, by the way, that is... Mi iros alla monto. Now, it might be a little bit hard at first to hear the difference between us and os, but you'll get used to it as time goes along and eventually it will just be as clear as day for you. So, how do you say, um, I'm walking towards the mountain again? It is mi iras alla monto. And how will you say, I will walk towards the mountain? Mi iros alla monto. Okay, cool. And what was the word for now? It was nun. And how would you say, where is the wolf? Kie estas la lupo? And how do you say, in front? Antal. And how do you say, behind? Mal antal. Now, let's just start learning some new words, shall we? So let's have a look at our beautiful scenery around us. So the first word I want to teach you today is cielo. Cielo. And cielo means sky, but it has a secondary meaning, and that is heaven, as in where God resides. So just watch out for that one when you're reading the words. Next word I want to teach you is bridge, because there's actually a freaking heap of bridges in this game. The word for bridge is ponto. Ponto. Sorry about that. I just saw a mountain. I kind of just mixed the two and went, Ugh. So yeah, the word for bridge is ponto. Ponto. Now, what was the word for sky again? It is cielo. Cielo. Oh, God damn it! I just missed the lift, so I've got to wait it out. Now, I've taught you the word for pine tree, okay? That was pino. So, the word for tree is arbo, and it's spelled A-R-B-O. So, how would you say three trees? Tri arboi. Tri arboi. Okay, now you've learnt one, two, and three. I'm going to teach you four, five, and six. So, the word for four is Kvad, kvad, and the word for five is kvin, and finally the word for six is ses. Now for me, when I was learning the numbers um, for the first time when I was learning Esperanto, the hardest two numbers for me were kvar and kvin because they just sound similar. So just pra I'm just going to practice over with you guys a bit because I'm assuming most of you are English speakers, um, otherwise you wouldn't have a clue what I'm on about. So, the w <laughs> what was the word for four? It was kvad. And what was the word for five? It was kvin. Now, I've got a little game. I'm just going to randomly puke them out, and then you got to respond before I say it back in English. So, you ready? Okay, let's do this. Kvad. Four. Kvin. Five. Kvin. Five. Kvad. Four. Kvin. Five. God, you guys got it right every single time. You're freaking awesome. Now, let's start practicing our verbs. So I've taught you idas, um, and I've taught you... I think that's the only verb I've really taught you. What we're doing now is we're flying. So to say flying, present tense, it is flugas. Flugas. So how do you think we would say, I'm flying? Mi flugas. So how would you say, I was flying, or I flew? Mi flugis. And how will you say, I will fly? Mi flugos. Now, what is, how would you say, um, one, two, three, four, five, five trees? Kvin arboi. Very good, very good. And how would you say, two trees? Du arboi. 
Now, how would you say, I fly above the mountain? Mi flugas super la monto. Do you remember super? It means above. So, how would you say, um, I fly uh, next to the trees? Mi flugas apud la arboi. Now, we weren't really like next to, next to in a sense, but it was good enough. It was good enough for now. Don't be pedantic. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to teach you the word for tower because there's actually a goddamn lot of towers in this game as well. So, the word for tower is turo. Turo. So, we have... Uh, actually, we've only got one tower there, so that's not much help to us. Now, okay, so how would you say I fly above the tower because that's what I'm doing right now. Ooh, I almost got impaled. Mi flugas super laturo. Mi flugas super laturo. Now, a lot of this is actually new to me. I used to play this game a lot, like way, way back, and then I came back after like six years of not playing so I could teach you guys Esperanto, and all this like random stuff around here is all like completely new to me. Anyway, ooh, we have a bird. Is that? Ah, it's a vo vulture. So how would you say um, the vulture flies above the ground? La vulturo flugas super... Ah, la vulturo flugas super latero. Sorry about that. So, when I try and force myself to say things slowly, it just kind of becomes all muddled up. So sorry about the random mispronunciations there. Okay, so how would you say uh, two trees? Go. Du arboi. Du arboi. And how would you say two towers? Go. Du turoi. Du turoi. And I might as well teach you the word for river, eh? Because we're going to see a lot of these as well. So the word for river is rivero. Rivero. So that there is a nice big river. So what was the word for big? It was granda. And the word for river again is rivero. So how would you... I'm going to teach you now the word for city. So the word for city is urubo. Because this is the orc city. And by the way, do you remember the word for orc? It was oruko. Oruko. Very good, very good. So how would you say, I'm flying above the orc's city? Let's see if you can pull this one off. Orc is now an adjective. Mi flugas super la orca urubo. If you said orca, orca, you are freaking awesome. So now let's exit this little city because I'm not actually here to see the city. I'm actually here to go explore everything else. Whoa. Let's see if... Let's see if a tauren can fly without dying, okay? So, how would you say the tauren is flying? Oh, no, the tauren will fly first. La bovulo flugos. And how do you say the tauren is flying? La bovulo flugas. Oh, my shield almost ran out. Oh, wow, I just got an achievement. I sound, I feel epic. So, how did you say the tauren flew? La bovulo flugis. There you go, we used all three of them at once. So I feel pretty quite proud of myself, I didn't even plan that one out. So we're also going to learn a couple of random body parts because, you know, when we start shooting people we're going to be aiming at body parts. So first up, the word for body. The word for body is korupo. Korupo. And I'm trying to think of um, a word that you could kind of mix that with, like um, corporeal... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. You just I'm sure there's an English word that's similar to that that could help you remember it. Um, but yeah, it's just korupo. Next word we're going to learn is head. And the word for head is kapo. And the way I remembered that one when I was learning Esperanto is think of like a toothpaste cap or something like that. Um, or any cap on a, a bottle. So that's the head of the bottle, yeah? So kapo, kapo. Now the next word we're going to learn is hand. And the word for hand is mano, mano. And a good way to remember that, especially if you're into gaming and everything, is think, for instance, um, where the mana, you know, mana in a game is magic, uh, like magic power, basically, this blue bar at the top. See, it's called mana. And it comes out of your hand when you cast a spell. So mano, mano. There you go, nice easy one. And the last body part I'll teach you for today is foot. And foot is piedo, piedo. So what do we got around us? Oh, do you remember the word for boar? It was apro, and this is the perfect time to teach you a new verb. So we're going to learn the word, uh, the verb for uh, running, okay, or run. So present tense run is kudas, 
kudas. Past tense is kudis and future tense is kudos. So we have a boar in front of us. How do you think we would say the boar will run at us? Now I haven't taught you at but see what you can come up with. La apro kudos al ni. Now I said us before and I haven't actually taught you us. By the way the word for us in Esperanto the pronoun is ni. Um, what I wanted to actually say was run at me, but I, there you go, you've learned us now. So, us is ni. So, la apro kudos al ni. So, now I'm going to shoot him. And how would you say the boar is running at me? La apro kudos al ni. And now that he's dead, ooh, I am level 10. How would you say... Um, the boar ran at me. Yes, I know I can specialize. La apro kudis al mi. So we have another apro just there. Actually, we have three. So how would you th say three boars? Tri aproi. Tri aproi. And now I know there isn't um, five in front of us, but how would you say five boars? Kvin aproi. Kvin aproi. Um, and how would you say six boars? Ses aproi. Ses aproi. And what was the word for tower? It was turo. Oh, look, we have a snake. This will be our final word that we learn for today. And the word for snake is serpento. Serpento. So, well, it appears that our serpento is now dead. You know what? I'm going to lie to you. I am totally lying to you right now. I'm going to teach you, as my absolute final word for this lesson, the word for ocean. And the word for ocean is oceano. Oceano. And anyone who's played World of Warcraft like back in the day like I did, this place has totally changed. They have changed everything about this map. It, I, I don't like it. I'm, I want to go back to the old days when World, World of Warcraft was like, you know, maximum 60 and stuff like that. No, no, I'm not that bad. Okay, so we're going to do some final revision now. What was the word for snake? It was serpento. What was the work for, uh, what was the word for, or sorry, the verb for present tense flying? It is flugas. How would you say the boar is running at me? La apro kudas almi. How would you say the word for sky? It is cielo, and remember that can also mean heaven. Um, what was the word for head? It was capo. And what was the word for hand? It was mano. Mano. And what was the word for uh, body? It was corpo. Corpo. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. If you've liked this, give it a like, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. That tells me that you guys want to keep seeing these lessons. Um, I'm, I'm so thankful for the support I've had so far. It's actually crazy. And yeah, keep firing away questions in the comments. Um, I noticed a lot of you guys have uh, putting down grammar questions down there. I love that stuff, so don't feel like a little bit, you know, timid about that. Those types of things. Now, I'm not a linguist or anything. Um, I'm. Yeah, I'm just someone who learnt the language. There may be questions I don't know the answers to or I won't be confident about, but I'll shoot you in the right direction so you can figure it out. Anyway, so that's it for today's session, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well then, I might leave a serpento in your tendon. <laughs>